Let's take a look at the five main challenges in the steering knuckle manufacturing process and see how Seco can help you overcome them. Challenge one, the kingpin. There are several issues here, including achieving bore concentricity, reducing the tool index compared to the table index, keeping the surface unscathed while breaking chips effectively, and reducing tool requirements and cycle times. Try to ream from one side for greater concentricity and optimize the tool design with CERMET and implement advanced table indexing. Challenge two, gap milling. When taper hole machining, it's difficult to bore longer than 80 millimeters. You'll need to make the most out of the available machine torque, though the design complicates fixturing. You could reduce the tool weight Use disc mills with dampening pads and implement dry cutting, as well as reduce cutting forces by using positive geometries. Challenge three, lower ball joint. It's hard to reduce any excessive power consumption and get rid of vibrations while still achieving the required surface finish. You should reduce the number of tools being used. Balance outer disc mills to avoid excessive power consumption and adapt your fixturing to reduce vibrations. Challenge four, bearing bore. You'll want to automize as much as possible to keep intervention to a minimum, but it's tricky to achieve concentricity between the transmission and bearing diameters. And there's still the problem of vibrations and maintaining that surface finish. We can help you with custom boring bars that rough semi-finish and chamfer, and grooving tools that use double-sided ISO ANSI inserts. Challenge five, brake caliper. It's difficult to combine face milling, chamfering, and drilling. You'll want to limit the number of required positions in the tool magazine, as well as stabilize the fixture and overcome those long overhangs. With multi-process tool designs, you can minimize tool changes and achieve faster cycle times. Seco, made for makers.